hello everyone welcome to my into the unknown tarot channel and today we are doing a fun pick a card reading and today's topic is what makes you attractive so we have a uh, three options today and first option is and by the way these are all handcraft made by me so first option is this phone case it's really pretty and second one is this jewelry box as you can see yes and third option is this flower boss yeah this is very unique so choose your option and I will see you at your pile so if you chose this phone stand or a paint stand whatever you can you use this both ways okay so if you chose this um, this is your reading So spirit please tell me what makes pile one attractive what makes a okay we got two cards already we have king of pentacles nine of cups spirit please tell me what makes pile one more attractive what makes pile one attractive what makes pile one attractive on this card we have page of wands and six of wands what makes pile one attractive please please tell me what makes pile one more attractive four of pentacles strength please spirit tell me what makes pile one more attractive attractive page of pentacles um, and queen of cups hmm, bottom of the deck we have the chariot so pile one first thing i'm sensing is you you are a fire sign or because i'm seeing strength card here it's uh, represented a leo astrological sign it's a fire sign and or you might be um, a water sign that is cancer it's represented by the chariot and you have the you have fire sign in your chart or you might be um, you are um, fire sign leo sagittarius and aries and we have cups energy as well so you might be uh, you are or you may be a cancer scorpio or a pisces and we have pentacles we have king of pentacles and four of pentacles here so, so you have you may you maybe have earth sign in your chart as well and if uh, a earth, uh, if water sign or fire sign is not your sun moon and rising so it may be heavily influenced by you or um, if uh, it's not the astrological sign so you come uh, cross as a very fiery person you are really passionate what you are doing you are a star you are very self-confident very self-assured you know what you are doing and you have the amazing willpower you have amazing strength and you have this amazing bright aura that makes you attractive your self confidence makes you more attractive and we have the king of pentacles so king of pentacles for me is really um, um logical but he knows how to invest money and he he looks so royal so you you look so royal you you have your uh, royal vibe to you and we have nine of cups here and queen of cups so you are so nurturing and caring and you are um, you seem as really uh, what what is it called you seem really luxurious that what i'm seeing here and we have the page of wands and six of wands here. So these cards are telling me 
that you are really go for what you what you uh, really wanted to do okay so you always um, always have this vibe about you that you are gonna achieve everything that you have set your mind on you are uh, you experience success and victory in um, everything you do so people see you as very successful very assertive very royal and very confident person and that's what makes you very attractive and chariot tells me that you are very action oriented person you know um, you know you are so confident you know you are full of yourself like you have this positive confidence about yourself that makes you really attractive and we're gonna ask spirits if um, any more messages for pile number one please spirit tell me what makes pile number one more attractive we have knight of pentacles and hierophant and judgment and justice okay and we have the world So pile number one, I'm sensing Knight of Pentacles and Head of Fent and um, uh, Judgment and Justice. Justice here is a Libra. We have Libra here, um, an air sign. And we have Head of Fent and Judgment and World Guard. You are someone who is really developed in all aspects of your life. That's what makes you beautiful and attractive, I would say. And um, Knight of Pentacles and Head of Fent and Judgment and Justice. You may have came across as a really traditional person or you have a traditional belief that you are a traditional person and um, uh, followed by the judgment you are someone who follow your calling you are someone who are who really follow what your heart says okay that's what makes you really attractive you answer the calling that why you are here what you are someone who really know like what what you should be doing in this lifetime okay you know your soul purpose you know your soul path and you are so um dedicated to improve yourself every time you you are very energetic and passionate person you are very creative you uh, you have the strength and um, uh, you are positive you are courageous you have the willpower you have the financial stability and you know how to make money and you know you you have this royal vibe to yourself and um, and even though you are very practical and you are very passionate person but you still have this queen of cups energy queen of cups is very neat, near, nurturing and caring you are you came across as a very nurturing and caring person you know um, when is once when someone comes towards you or um, even uh, if, if you are friends or family members uh, all of them thinks you are so caring nurturing they can be themselves in front of you you came across as you um, people feel safe around you that's what makes you attractive and you know you are really we have in a first line we have the king of pentacles and we have four of pentacles and in bottom we have this knight of pentacles and this card is telling me that you are very self-assured you are a very uh, conscious about your finances you are very practical and also you are practical and also you have the perfect balance of heart and mind okay you follow your heart as well as your mind so that's what uh, that's what makes you really attractive and the world card is telling me that you love traveling and you love to go many places and you are um, 
recently completed a cycle and you are beginning a new cycle okay and um, you have this fresh energy to yourself that really makes um, that really lights up the room you are so um, you are someone who um, when some when you enter the room everyone just stops and look at you because you got this vibe you are really confident you 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 are so courageous and you you know you what you are doing you are really confident that's what i'm sensing so if you like this reading please hit the like share and subscribe button i will see you next time hello pile number two if you chose this uh, jewelry box this is your reading okay so we're gonna ask spirit what makes you attractive okay so spirit please tell me what makes pile number two more attractive we have ten of cups okay. pile um please spirit tell me what pile number two what makes pile number two attractive we have king of cups we have the strength card please spirit tell me what pile number two makes what makes pile number two attractive? What makes pile number two attractive? Okay. We have the Ace of Swords. We have Five of Wands. Please spare, tell me what makes pile number two attractive. We have the Star. The Ten of Pentacles. The uh, Ten of Pentacles. And... Five of Swords and Page of Cups. Please very, uh, very clarify this Five of Swords. We have Two of Pentacles. Any more messages? Any more cards, Spirit? What makes my number two attractive? We have Eight of Wands. We have the magician and the emperor and the hermit. We have four major arcana cards here. In the bottom of the deck, we have ten of ones. Okay. So, astrological signs. I am sensing first card is uh, Leo, the strength card. And uh, we have the star, the Aquarius. We have the Emperor, the Aries energy here. And also we have the Virgo. And yeah, I'm sensing a lot of signs here. And all of the astrological signs. So um, let's get started. No reading. So what makes pile number two more attractive? First thing I'm sensing that you are family oriented person, you are uh, stable, you are uh, really happy, you are came across as you have everything that you need, you are emotionally fulfilled, you feel completed and uh, followed by the king of cups king of cups is telling me that you are really <clears throat> someone who is really calm lovable and who keeps their hearts on their sleeves but they know how to um, give their uh, love to others they are really calm kind and generous but also a leader person but you don't came across as really dominative or uh, anything people naturally don't drawn to you because you have this amazing and really caring energy to yourself but we have the strength card here and ace of swords so ace of swords is telling me that you are really a person who is really sharp sharp minded and you don't like the lies okay you are someone who is assertive and um, 
you don't afraid of the con competition and you are the star so you are someone who is really charming attractive and people look up to you you are someone who is really stylish and uh, in the public eye even if you are in the um, working or uh, in a job place or um, anywhere you go people uh, just can't help but they stare at you because you have this attractive like celebrity type energy around you okay you give off this really vip energy here you see yeah and and the five of swords is clarified by the two of pentacles and we have the page of cups and we have the eight of swords so you are a great communicator that's first thing i'm sensing you are the you have the amazing communication skills and that's really makes you attractive because you speak your mind but you have the ability to speak everything uh, that you wanted to say very um, smoothly you are a smooth talker I'm not saying that you are telling likes people with the smooth or just buttering buttering your words or anything you have this amazing um, quality to yourself that you speak your mind but in a very creative way that really um, that really makes you easy uh, to communicate with anybody you can communicate with anybody and everyone wants to wants to have a chat with you because you have this amazing communication skills because we have the magician and uh, then we have the emperor and we have the hermit okay so you have the perfect balance of everything even though you have all the skills you have the masters uh, mastering your craft you have look at here in magician we have the pentacles cups and the swords and wands everything in this so you even though you are really uh, financially stable you are emotionally stable and you come across as a very emotional and you are you know when to get when to raise your swords you know when to take actions and you are equally passionate about your craft and that's really makes you attractive and we have the emperor energy so you have this um authoritative um vibe uh, vibe to you and um this really makes you attractive and we have the hermit so you have so you use your intuition inner wisdom and guidance you have this virgo quality about you you are a perfectionist but also you are really playful as well we have page of cups energy page of cups is a childlike energy it's not like a childlike but uh, someone who is really curious who wants to know, love new stuff and um, and also you are um, you know how to make a perfect choices in regards to your finances you are really someone who can juggle in uh, juggle in many many tasks at once okay you have this uh, multitasking energy around you that really makes you attractive and we have the ace of swords here and um, ace of swords telling me that you are also sharp minding very intelligent your intelligence you know what you want to say at the particular moment you get always get this amazing new ideas you are, you can work on you have this really uh, creative energy about you you are intelligent and also creative and you have this communication abilities that makes you really attractive because you can speak your minds you can speak your um, creative ideas with the amazing um, amazing way that everything just everyone just listen to you you can easily you are someone who who is an authoritative figure who know how to control people i'm not saying you are a controlling person but you have this vibe and the uh, authoritativeness like a you ceo vibe to you that you handle everything with very ease but we have the 10 of wands here in the bottom of the deck i want to clarify this 10 of wands the spirit 
and you can play this three of wands, ten of wands. Okay. We have the page of pentacles and the page of swords. Okay. We have two pages. And on bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles energy. Hmm. So yeah, you have this, you have three pages actually. Page of swords. Three pages is represented as um, like a dispute energy. Hmm. Okay, sometimes because you are really creative and intelligent and uh, you are authoritative, sometimes people just really get, uh, feel like they are dominated by you or um, they might be feel like uh, you are controlling them because some people just, not everyone just vibe you, uh, vibing with your vibe, okay. So that's why you have this 10 of uh, wands energy. But even though, there are some things that some people don't understand your vibe. That's okay, because uh, we you you can uh, have you handle this very ease, very with ease. Okay, ten of wands energy, even though it feels like a burden sometimes, but you handle this, and you are ending some chapters and uh, some things that. Um, closing some cycles in your life right now but you have this um, emperor vibes to you if you have the emperor magician and strength and star cards you are might be in the public eye as well people look up to you you might uh, you uh, may be um, having lots of followings on social media as well and um, people see you as really a successful person Successful and emotionally fulfilled as well. You, bottom of the deck we have king of pentacles. Like you have everything you ever need. That's what makes you really attractive. If you like this reading, please hit the like, share, subscribe button. And I'll see you the next time. Hello pile number 3. If you chose this unique plaid vase, this is your reading. And one thing I'm sensing right away about your thing that you might be on a taller side you may be a tall, taller person that's that's one thing why what makes you attractive and if you are not it's okay you are still attractive you have uniqueness about you that really makes you attractive we're gonna ask spirit more about it so spirit please tell me what makes pile number three more attractive We have the Ace of Swords. Please spell it. Tell me what makes pile number three attractive. We have Five of Cups. What makes pile number three attractive? We have the Death card. What makes pile number three attractive? Spell it. Please tell me what makes pile number three attractive. I'm gonna take this card. Queen of Cups and Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Okay. Ten of Swords. Heavy. Heavy energies as well. What makes pile number three attractive? Spirit. We have the Justice. And we have the Fool. One more card for few more cards for pile number three. What makes pile number three attractive? We have the six of pentacles. What makes pile number three attractive? Spirit, please tell me what makes pile number three attractive. And we have the four of um, pentacles, six of wands, and ace of swords. We have a seven of wands in the bottom of the deck. I want to clarify this five of cups. Please spirit clarify the five of cups. Spirit clarify this five of wands. We have nine of swords and we have three of pentacles and we have page of swords. 
and bottom of the deck now we have the ace of pentacles okay so for astrological signs i am sensing that you my you may be or you are a scorpio and if not then scorpio is heavily in your chart or any water sign and i'm saying i'm sensing here we have everything like we have the air signs as well and we have uh, wands energy here so you are um, you may be or you are uh, pa, uh, aries sagittarius or leo and we have pentacles energy here and cups energy are here so water sign air signs and earth signs are here as well so so let's start your reading if you are not a scorpio it's okay leave the message um so first thing i'm sensing is you have the ace of wands and then we have the five of cups i wanted to clarify this five of cups so i'm sensing you um you're close um i don't know why this came up in this reading but i wanted to see why it's here you have the five of cups energy first of all everything started with the ace of wands ace of wands is telling me that you are really a creative person you are um, creative and fast moving person and um, um, you ha always have this uh, bright ideas in your mind that really makes you attractive <clears throat> i'm okay i i'm focusing on this god more the five of cups some someone who is really close to you it may be your friends or family they know you are going through some stuff that's really heavy energy are here we are seeing saying here nine of swords we have uh, the three of um, pentacles and we have the page of swords so it might be something that you are dealing with some stressful situation you have this or you had this energies in the past that you are dealing with depression sleepless night you can't sleep at night because of certain situation or uh, you might be dealing with some health issues and you are maybe right now dealing with some health issues or and we have the three of pentacles i i'm sensing this card is for the collaboration and teamwork but i'm i feel like this uh, this is the situation i think someone really hurt you in the past okay and you are processing all those emotion um it seems like a third party situation not necessarily but we have the page of swords here this someone would just really hurt you is represented by this page of swords they are really childlike they are really sharp with their words if they are logical and something happened in that time that really makes you worry and you know, makes you feel like you have suffered a loss you are feeling like you you spill this cups everything is empty you are not feeling good about yourself and it's really hurt you and but or even though we have this death card death card is always changing uh, it's uh, representing like changes really uh, changes and uh, transformation transition you are changing in there from this um, energy is pretty well your scorpios are really a heavy sign i always feel like scorpios are really heavy and they are they have deep feelings okay water signs are really deep feelers and scorpio is like they are always going through something that's really serious or you may be right now going through a very serious period of time or you in the past have had gone gone through a very um tough period and where you feel like you have lost something you feel like really 
disturbed you are really like in this grief in this loss and shocking situation that you might feel like you will never able to get out of this but we have the death card so what what i'm sensing what makes you attractive is you have the ability to process every negative things that comes your way i'm not saying that always no negative things are going going to come at you i'm saying that you have this um moving on energy to you okay even though how much you have hurt in the past or um um not everyone was good to you you are or even um some relationships in the past this also seems like a relationship a new relationships or any so people think like you are um, you are someone who is really attractive and who must be in the relationship i don't know why i'm saying <laughs> i'm sensing this energy people um, see you as you are really someone who is uh, really need to be in the relationship because you are so attractive uh, people find you really um physically attractive as well you you are physically attractive and but this energies you are have this ability to so your friends and family who are close to you not everyone knows about this stuff about you that you are dealing with some serious um, serious uh, issues in the past or you have dealing something that's really personal to you so very few people know about this but they can see that you are really someone who can easily able to move on from this situation okay death card is saying still is a uh, feel i'm feeling like this you are um, really moving on from this energy it's really hard but you understand that you should be moving from this energy because it's not serving you you are someone who really cuts off everything that really doesn't serve you anymore okay you are someone who's not just uh, dealing with something that you are repeatedly hurting but you are you can't move on from this energy but it's not that you can easily move on from any situation you are transforming you maybe you are someone who really experiment with your looks a lot you really like to change your hairstyle your appearance your wardrobe or um, Uh, that's what makes you really happy that changing your hairstyle apparently from a hairstyle or the way you look like the way you do your makeup and that's what really makes you happy okay and everything that, that you change about yourself or um, in your appearance that really makes you attractive okay everything you do with your looks or uh, with your appearance that really makes you attractive and um and um the first um scenario i'm sensing that you are dealing with this situation that your family and friends think that uh, that's really attractive that they really proud of you that you are able to heal from this situation and be in this queen of cups energy even though you hurt in the past a lot you are move on from this energy and you have still the ability to be in this nurturing and caring and loving energy to you that's really makes you attractive by number 3 i already told you you are a very unique person see we have the knight of wands here and a nine of uh, nine of wands and and ten of swords and the justice and we have the four the six of okay the six of uh, pentacles four of pentacles five six of uh, wands and ace of swords so pile number 3 you are uh, someone i told you you are um, really um, going through some pain going through or uh, had gone through a lot of uh, really uh, difficult changes and situations that makes you feel like you are you can't be able to move on but you did or you will do and you still have this sometimes you feel like um or people see you as you have heart broken many times heart broken backstab and you have to um 
you have to keep your guards up you are so protective over your energy your aura and that's really makes you attractive like you won't easily let anyone come to you and your life scorpios are literally really secretive energy it's not like a bad secretive energy they are really protective of their self of themselves because they are really um feelers you know they are deep feelers so they don't want to get hurt really easily so they are really protective of their energy and they don't really easily share their personal stuffs with anybody like like that easily uh, unless they trust that person and we have the justice so this situation is justifiable that you are protecting in your energy so people think or your friends or family thinks like oh, okay it's justifiable why is being so protective over his energy why is guarding his energy why he is really selective of who he let um in his lives or in his circle okay so that's really makes you attractive pile number 3 and we have the full energy and um, even all this transformation and uh, transitions and all this um uh, heavy energies you still are someone who has really being a really careful cheerful person a risk taker and a uh, risk taker i'm sensing because you are been through a lot of uh, heavy energies in the past but you are still someone who is really try to uh, do something new you are ready to take a risk you are a risk taker that's what really makes you attractive and you are generous with your money with your time with your energy and um, uh, the people around you really thinks that you are really a generous person you are always uh, stand up stand up for those who need your help and that's really makes you attractive and also you have very uh, you are really uh, stable in terms of money you are um, working hard to make sure you are safe and secure because we have in the bottom of the deck we have the ace of pentacles and um, six of wands energy and the ace of swords so we have the two aces so i think the you the uh, this energy is telling me uh, you you are growing so fast and you are just um, growing and changing from your um, even if it's um, even if it's um, your appearance or you are uh, energies you are moving really fast and that's why you have this uh, and also you have the sharp mind new ideas always to yourself you always get the new opportunities you are someone who makes uh, make sure that even though you are going to uh, uh, you will um, you are someone who just really believes in if there is no obstacle that's not a life okay if not a if there are not obstacle there is no life because you have this ability you are really strong pile number 3 that you think this way and really that makes you attractive because opportunity knocks at your door ace of pentacle and ace of swords both aces are come here in this reading and that's why you're always um you always come across as like some victorious person or successful person and not everything there not everyone uh, know about what you dealing emotionally but they also seen you like very successful and uh, person and um, uh, successful person even though even you go through all of this uh, stuff you always come through clean and that's what you makes you attractive you are successful in regards to your money situation emotionally you always try something new you are a risk taker you think that you should be able to enjoy yourself like a like a kid okay you you have this playful around energy to you even though you have some um hard energy to yourself you still um able to make yourself as a kid like um okay I like a kid and you are moving away from this heavy energies anyways and you are someone who if you wanted to change something you do change you don't scare of the changes that's really makes you attractive i would say so that's what i have for you pile number 3 if you like this reading please hit the like share and subscribe button i will see you the next time bye